hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i want to teach us how to make this dress you can rock it in three different ways okay so let's get started now the first thing we're going to do is to draft our basic bodies so people are always complaining that um the tutorial is not for beginners blah 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 the truth is you need to know how to draft a basic bodice okay so i will drop the link to the previous tutorial i did here on youtube in the description box or you can download the video from our website the basic body tutorial is very very detailed just watch it once you watch it you'll be able to flow whatever i'm doing here okay so this is my basic body pattern here so and the dress is a wrap dress so i've used my tracing wheel to trace the front pattern and the pattern is on fold okay it's on fold yes yeah, on fold so the first thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut out the waist that and the boss that okay so any question you have as regards to the basic body pattern please go and watch the basic body tutorial in fact, the one on the website is like over explanatory, very, very easy to understand. But if you don't watch it, you may have find it difficult to understand. So I've taken out my balls that and my waist that. So now I'll use my masking tape to close it up. Okay, the dress is a wrap dress, but the bodice is um a bustier. It's wrap, but it still has balls and it still has um a bustier, like it's um contoured. Yeah, let me use that language. So I'm just blending up the sides there. Okay, so I'm trimming all the excess. Now I have my basic bodice pattern right here. Now I'll come down by three inches from my shoulder. Okay, because it's an off shoulder dress actually, but you can wear it as a shoulder or as a one shoulder off shoulder dress. Then um, for the depth of the dress, I use my chest line. The one I wore the dress, it was a bit deep for me, so you can do six. Then I can um, I want to come down by three here so it's not too off. So that it's not too off. So I'm doing three. So I'll use my French curve to link the part where I came out from the shoulder to the neckline. Okay. I did seven and it was a bit deep for me. You know, so you can do six. I mean the neck depth. Okay. So this is my neckline here. Okay. And then um I'm going to contour the um the bustier part so now i want to do like bust tightening okay so what i'll do now is from this line that divides the shoulder i'm going to mark um three quarter of an inch and half on the other side so you might want to do maybe one one because when i wore the dress it wasn't as fitted as i wanted it to be around the bust area so you can just do one inch on both sides it's called contouring you know so that even when you bend down, the blouse is not falling off. If it wasn't a wrap dress, it would have been perfect. Okay. So, I'm just sending some of the short comments I saw after I made the dress. Okay. So, that's, um, I'm closing the dart over there. Then, I will do what is called blending. I will fold the darts. Then, I'll read, I will use my French curve to draw the line again. Okay. Yeah. So, you're going to fold the longest part over the short parts like so because when you sew this is what you will have and most of us do not want to trim off okay so what you should do is use your use your French curve to redraw the neckline again so this way I thought you want to join the two patterns together and then your fabric to be perfect you don't need to start cutting corners and trimming off fabric here and there so I will extend this like so Okay, so for the middle part, this is how it's going to be. Now, when I'm going to cut out now, I will cut out. So I made a little mistake here. I went to cut the initial line I drew. Okay, so but it's not a problem. I'll use my masking tape to to cover it back. Okay, we are actually cutting the upper line, not the lower one, but it's not a problem. So. So that's the beauty of working with pattern paper. If there's a mistake, maybe you cut out, you can just easily patch it back. So, um, okay, so I'm just going to trace out that line. The, the line was supposed to cut on. Okay, yeah. So that's the line there. Okay. And it's a, the bodice is wrap. So I won't bother closing the other side because I'm still, going to, I'm still going to cut out the other side. So I'm just going to trim off like this. 
see that okay then i'll trim off the darts okay i still have a little excess here so i'll just trim off and then i'll cut through the side panel over there okay and then um I'll trim up the excess on this other part here. So for some of us that might still feel the tutorial is complex, it's not complex. Just learn the basic body tutorial. It is the foundation of any kind of bodies you want to draft. It's very important. Okay, so this is my pattern for a normal off shoulder bustier, normal off shoulder, your, your Igbo padded blouse, your uh, breast cut, or what we call this is a normal pattern here. But this dress is wrap. Meaning it runs from one side to the other side. So that was why I had to draft it on fold. Okay. So um, the Englishman will call it surplus um, bodies. That is wrap. So now I'm going to link my underboss to the neckline there on the other side of the pattern. Okay. And then I'll still blend it with my French curve anyway. Yeah. So you have a perfect curve. Like this. Can you see that? Okay. And then on I will complete the curve like that. So my wrap will run from my neckline and end on the under bust on the other side of the pattern. Let me move the pattern in so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Don't worry, I think the camera didn't capture that part. I'll still shade the pattern, don't worry. So I'll just um trim the unwanted part out okay i'll trim the wanted part out and then um, okay so i've trimmed it can you see that so the the wrap you know it terminates on this uh, on the bust towards the side seam of the other side of the pattern don't worry i'll show us i'll show us so this is how it's going to look like here this is one side and then okay yeah so this is it here so you can see how it um appears okay yeah so this is how it's going to be and then um the back is very simple back is back no big deal we'll still come convert it an off shoulder okay so for the front this is i've already cut it on my fabric so i have two pieces of fabric two pieces of lining and i added my seam allowance round can you see that obviously my fabric wasn't enough so i used two different ankara fabrics one for the skirt part the other for the um body so i'll go ahead and join the pieces together now with my half inch um seam allowance then like i said the back pattern i forgot to show us how to do the off shoulder so you come down by three inches on the shoulder the way we did for the front there then you link it to the chest line and then you just cut out the unwanted part and add your seam allowance. Abby, we are good. Okay, so you also gonna sew your dart on the fabric and lining. Okay, guys, so this is my back pattern here. I've turned it with my lining and I've also sewn my dart. I didn't have enough lines, I was using two different colors of lining, you know. Then this is my body pattern, I've already joined it. So I'll go ahead and use my lining to turn this side. This is the one I already sewed here. Can you see how it looks like? Okay, so I'll just go ahead and sew it with half inch seam allowance. And now I have my two bodies. It's still the same um, pattern. So now you can see where it crosses each other here. You see that? So I'll just place on top of each other. So each of the wrap ends on the side seam of the other. Okay, so you just pin it together like this. And also pin the other side. Meanwhile, you know, um, the lower part of the dress is the pencil skirt. If you don't know how to do that, okay, let me know in the comment section. I made a video on how to cut the pencil skirt, but I want to assume you can cut the pencil skirt, so I didn't bother showing that part. Okay, so, um, yeah, I want to cut the sleeve now. So, for the sleeve, okay, this is about two yards of material, I mean the width. If you want yours to be very fuller than that, you might be doing something like three yards, but this is two yards. So I already folded it once, then I'll fold it the second time because I want to cut both sleeves together. So that's my first fold there, okay? Then I will fold the second time. So the whole length of this, uh, sorry, the whole width is two yards. So meaning after folding the second time now, what I should have is um 18 inches because one yard is 36, you understand? So this is my fold here, 
okay so what i'll do now is i'm going to mark eight inches or well, before i do that i will mark <coughs> my sleeve head first which is supposed to be the edge of my fabric then i will come down by one and a half inch let me first of all draw the my um the line for my sleeve head okay so i'll come down by one inch from that part now the reason i'm doing this is because i don't want the name of the fabric to be shown on my sleeve so i didn't use the edge of the fabric again okay so i have to, um 1.5 inch away that will be for my um, casing for the elastic right then i'll mark eight inches like so okay then um from that line i'll come down by four or five inches okay then i'll mark the length of my sleeve now my shoulder to my elbow line is about 14 inches but i measured 17 inches because you can't use the exact length you still need to push it up a bit so i to have that puff look so i did 17 inches right then i'll also measure four inches from the top of that line there okay this is where i'm going to place this is where i will place my um the sorry where the curve of my armhole will terminate let me put it that way now this is freehand method because if i start doing slash and spread so you put start complaining now it's too complex blah 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 so this is freehand so this is eight inches there okay then i'll get my body's cheese so i'll get my blouse my blouse yeah then i will place the armhole of my blouse mind you this is free handle here so i'm going to make life easy for us i don't want to do the pattern way so i'll place the armhole of my blouse like this and i'll draw the curve of my arm so that when i want to fix my sleeve the sleeve will you know just fit into the armhole perfectly can you see that what i'm just doing so this is freehand method i'll use my curve to you know make the curve to be more defined like so okay there all right so then obviously the hem the hemline of the sleeve has to be wider than that part so i'll i didn't bother measure just use the whole length okay so like i said for some of us if you want the sleeve to be fuller then you should not be working with more than two yards of fabric so you can see what i've just done now then i'll cut meanwhile the full length of my sleeve is about 23 inches but you know we're cutting this upper part separately from the cuff then i'm adding my seam allowance you can see that i didn't cut on the line where i have the chalk i'm i added seam allowance series i forgot to add seam allowance to the ammo part there, but no worry i'll take i'll take some from the um measurement since i'm adding elastic so it's not a problem okay so um the upper part of my sleeve is ready then we'll just cut out a cuff so for the cuff it's pretty simple this upper part will stop somewhere before the elbow okay yeah so um this is the sleeve here okay so to do the casing for the elastic you're going to fold or uh, before you start folding let me notch the part where we marked the 1.5 inches okay so i'll just notch there and here okay so i'll fold my fabric half inch twice like that to create the casing for my elastic now for the lower part of the sleeve okay you want to measure the circumference of your arm where you have the elbow okay so i'll just show us i'll show us my sleeve is ready okay so now for the cuff part okay like i said you're going to measure the upper part of your elbow okay which is here you mean and then your wrist entry okay so um i'm going to mark that elbow part is about um i think 11 or so, so i'll mark 5.5 plus one in for seam allowance my wrist entry is about um i think eight so i'll mark four inches and one inch for size seam allowance and the length of the cuff now will be the length of the remaining part of the sleeve i don't know if that makes sense yeah if you're just new to this channel make sure you subscribe leave your comment and reactions and do not forget to share and um just enjoy yourself so this is um 
my cuff here okay so here yeah i've already lined it with my lining i use i always line with dull face satin so this is it here i didn't have enough fabric so i had to line with um dull face okay so now i'm going to show us how to attach the sleeve now at this point i uh, are going to notch the center of the cuff and the center of the upper part of the sleeve then you match them together and then you run um little gathers or pleats okay so you pleat the upper part to meet the um the cuff and then you join it on the side okay so next thing now we're coming back to the skirt we'll go back to the sleeve later this is my pencil skirt here okay this is the back of my pencil skirts already lined okay i'll add it to the back of my blouse separately get it yeah like that so i'll add it to the back of my my um, blouse then same thing applies to the um, front this is the front of my skirt it's also lined already i've already sewn my darts okay i'll also attach it to the uh, front of my blouse meanwhile make sure it's already pinned you know it's a cross it's crossed so you have to pin it so that it doesn't um shift from its position so i'll go ahead and attach it together okay so i've already sewn it together the blouse and the skirts this is the front part here so all i'll do is i'll place my two back pieces of my dress it's no longer a skirt or blouse line. it's not a dress because i've combined them together okay so i'm going to sew my sides in now on both sides of my dress okay feel free to leave your questions okay yeah so i'll go ahead and sew my side seam and also the center back seam now this is my dress here um okay i want to sew my side seam like i said sorry this is the center back seam i beg your pardon so for the center back there will be a slit okay there will be a slit because you need to be able to walk so this is it here i've already left um the space for my zipper to be fixed okay so now back to our sleeve back to the sleeve i'm going to use the treader to pass my elastic okay so um my elastic is about six inches long because it's still going to stretch right and then i'll use my treader if you don't have a treader you can use an um, office pin sorry safety pin to pass the elastic so i'm going to pass the elastic from one end of the sleeve head this is it here my my elastic is about six inches long you see that so i will pass the elastic you have to do it gently so once the elastic gets to one end of that's the beginning part here once you pull it and it gets to the um the beginning part you go ahead and run a stitch then when you pull it out on the other side you 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 know close the other um part so now i will go ahead and attach my sleeve to the dress okay and um i'll also fix my zipper and then i'll wear it and show us the final outcome so it's a dress you can rock in three different ways as a shoulder dress a one shoulder dress and an off shoulder dress i hope you learned something from this tutorial Thank you so much for your time and bye.